What's up, this is Platinum X back with another video. So today I will be creating an info video about pretty much half of the roster that I've created. Two days ago I've created the bio where you've seen all the characters. Now I'm going to commission only a small portion of it because I don't want to spoil pretty much everything about the character and you know, the story plot pretty much. As in a small proportion for season one, I'm going to have 19 characters in total that I will talk about. Note that the information about these characters are official, but at the same time, I might change something in particular for you know one of the characters or more. But at the same time, these are not the full information about the character. You don't know everything about the character because I don't want to spoil pretty much everything before the episode comes in. Now that I said everything, let's get this video started. Platinum is the embody of me. He's goofy, serious, brave, shy. He's only shy around people he doesn't know, but if he knows you, He's not shy, especially around his friends. He can be a handful sometimes, but he's a genuine guy once you get to know him. He's born on May 25th with Jim and I. His favorite food is ribs. Three of his hobbies, he likes to play video games, train, and hang out with his friends. Roosevelt is a kind-hearted explorer, and despite the eager to explore for herself, she's in a need for others. Don't get on her bad side because she'll knock you out. She's very intelligent in getting to a good sense of remembering sights of area she's been at she's born on December the 23rd a Sagittarius her favorite food is chicken you know black people types of, you know her hobbies are training exploring and creating Jin is a cool person to vibe with he's not shy but he doesn't open himself to everyone although he keeps to himself he can be ignorant if you push him around he can also be a smart mouth when necessary he's not unlikable he just have low tolerance because he is more mature than platinum or others he can crack some jokes but he's serious for the most part he's born on may 25th i mean not may 25th he's born on may 5th a gemini his favorite food is sushi and his hobbies are video games and art Alicia is the nicest person you will ever meet. She's the mother of Roosevelt and has a great sense of humor. She always stay positive until you're messing with her. Respect her, because if you don't, she won't hold back on negative comments. She is born on October the 23rd, a Libra. Her hobbies is training with her partner and her favorite food is chicken. Just like Alicia, Aaron's pretty much the same way except for the fact that he will fight you or he will ignore you. He is born on October the 3rd of Libra. His favorite hobby is working out and training with his partner and his favorite food is chicken. Jade is a nice but strict old school mom. Don't intend to piss her off because if you do she will keep a grudge against you if serious. She intends to help you succeed in life but if it's suit for her character. She doesn't mind helping but she thrives to help so stick with it. She's born on August the 26th a Leo. Her favorite food is udon and her hobby is cooking and training with her partner. Bruno plays a strict role in being the governor. He plans on developing a new generation full of fighting potential. He's the second swordsman of the Edo clan and he's born on January the 16th of Capricorn. His favorite food is Sobra and his hobby is training and perfecting rose foam. Hanzo is a very strict teacher, but very nice outside of it, just like Bruno. He trains the next generation of the governor role. He is the first swordsman of the Edo clan. He is born on January 19th of Capricorn. His favorite food is pretty much anything, and his hobby is meditating. Jimmy is the nicest governor. He works very hard in this position despite his father's legacy. He plans on carrying hardship and ethic work by preparing his son Platinum to be the next governor. He is born on May 25th a Gemini. His favorite food is sushi. I mean sushi and his hobby is dedication of work and strength on inspiration. Masiang is the second worry of justice. He is one of the branch congress and a wise teacher. He has patience upon training you for the world. Unknown birth and favorite food. His hobby is meditating and practicing air palm. Lady Anne is the third worthy of justice. She is one of the branch congress. She is the complete opposite of Master Yang. She does not have patience when training. It kind of makes sense since she is a speedster. Unknown birth and favorite food and her hobbies are focusing on her power speed and relaxing. Marina is a blind woman who can dumb without sightseeing within hearing. She is the fourth warrior of justice, one of the branch congress. Be aware that she is no joke. Unknown birth and favorite food. Her hobby is meditating. Biru is the first warrior of justice and the head branch of the congress. Much is mysterious about this character, but he has a likable personality. There's not much about him that I want to talk about, but he pretty much has a jockey personality. He's born on June the 20th, a Gemini. 
A favorite food is ice and his hobby is crafting sharp objects. Selena has the same personality and same birth and same food type except for the fact that her hobby is pretty much practicing on her skills more than Donnie. Namus is the savage animal, half shark, half human. He has no goal but to survive. That's what's fun to him. That's the shark part of him. The human side of him is completely normal. He respects in the need of others, but he is immature sometimes. He is born on December the 3rd, a Sagittarius. His favorite food is meat. Chill is a savage beast, half shark, half human. Unlike Namus, he is more mature seeming as he is the older brother. He is born on December the 26th, a Sagittarius. His favorite food is meat and his hobby is the role of his people monitoring human nature. There's not much about this character that I'm going to talk about because she is a season 2 build up but at the same time she is built up upon season 1 with no visual character instinct because you know I have my plans. But she's pretty much unknown, but I'm going to tell you this, her ability is to change her age. Dungbai is very mysterious right now. She has the ability of tool manipulation and she's pretty much built from season 1 from scratch. But she's built even more from season 2, so that's why I'm not going to explain much about her. Because she plays an important role and that's all I need to spoil about this character. And this has pretty much been the end of the video. Tell me who is your favorite info upon their personality and traits. Moving on to zodiac signs now. If you're offended that your zodiac signs is not up there, honestly, cut the bull crap. It's just my opinion upon these personality traits for these characters. I mean, they kind of suit each other. Now, I've looked up, you know, such as Gemini and Sagittarius. They do get along. They can be a friend or couple, so... I'm not going to spoil much about the characters, but I'm just saying, like, you know, they go along with each other. And I, there's some zodiac signs that don't go along with each other. Now, I'm not saying specifically, like, if you won't go along with them in real life, because everybody has different personalities. Everybody are not the same. The zodiac sign does not define you. It is just an equilibrium month that you live upon, basically. But you can pursue it pursue it most likely I'm pretty sure everybody does but let's be clear to, upon this now I have not just used only one I am a Gemini in real life and I have, have not just only used a Gemini specifically now I've used a Gemini Sagittarius a Libra a Leo and I think it was uh, another one that I forgot but pretty much I'm not being very biased I just used half of the zodiac signs so do not get offended because your own zodiac sign is not up here and if you are offended why are you watching the video or in commenting I'm just saying I mean if you really want to get into it obviously I've been in a situation where a zodiac sign pissed me off but that doesn't technically mean that I hate that zodiac sign example for my family like my mom is a Scorpio my sister is a Leo I mean obviously you have problems with your mom but resolving around the zodiac sign can cause an a argument or a situation that you don't like about that specific person but you know it's funny I've harnessed and I learned from the mistakes in my life but we're not gonna get into that but at the same time I had to adapt to that zodiac sign so there's not anything specifically wrong with my trait or opinion upon the zodiac sign I just chose not to use it I mean we all have you know problems so I'm not gonna sit here and be offensive upon your zodiac sign and just claim you off of it it's based on your personality in per se and I know it's going to be that one or a second person or multiple people who's still going to say some negative feedback. Honestly, I might just ignore, but at the same time, I might not because I like to prove people wrong when they're in the wrong. So for you negative people, honestly, who's the one that's being immature in this situation? Because honestly, opinion is just an opinion. I'm not talking towards you specifically. Honestly, I didn't say anything wrong about you. So there's no reason for you to get mad. I don't even know you. And that about wraps it up in this video. I hope you really like this video. And that's pretty much all I'm going to say. Peace. Bye.